Hello there and welcome to episode 17 of 52 Weeks of Awesome. Today I'm doing a walk back in Dartmoor. I'm doing a circular walk which is going to take in Kester Rock, Score Hill and Gidley. I found this walk online somewhere on the internet. I will post a link in the YouTube uh, description if you want to do it yourself. It looked like quite a good walk. It was well out in the middle of nowhere to get here, I'll tell you that much. I think it's going to be about seven miles. Uh, it should be taken in uh, some moorland, some rocks, some rivers and potentially going to do my first bit of wild swimming. I looked at this uh, rock on um, Google Maps before I came and I thought I'd do the walk because it sounds really picturesque but the rock didn't look like much at all. It's actually quite impressive and quite picturesque as well. swimming in it that's for sure <laughs> Just approaching middle tour now. This wasn't actually on my route for today, but I thought as I could see it and it wasn't far away, I just as well come and check it out. So this is middle tour. Since I've started doing these videos and exploring that walking well, I often wonder how the various tours got their names. Castor Rock. wondering about the long stone. Well now that I'm here, I can see why. So it's got to be five, six foot, it's got to be about ten foot high I would guess. So I'm following this walking guide as I said and um, the next stage of the guide said you'll find two double stone rows <laughs> and I stopped back about 100 yards back there and there was like four rocks and I thought this can't be it surely but as you can see I have now found the two double stone rows and it says follow the path to the left Clapper Bridge at the moment and I thought while I'm walking there I would just say if you haven't watched any of my previous videos and you don't know what 52 weeks of awesome is about I set myself a challenge for this year to visit a different place every week of the year and do a video and upload it to YouTube just to motivate myself and I want to look back at the end of the year and think wow that was a really good year especially after the awful year that everybody had last year so that's why I'm doing these so if you like this one feel free to check out my previous videos 
I live in Dorset so the first 10 or so are based in Dorset because we were still under lockdown. Now I'm venturing a bit further afield to Dartmoor and hopefully soon I'll get up to the Lake District and who knows maybe a bit further afield if we're allowed to travel abroad at some point. Well this is a rather lovely spot isn't it to have a bite to eat. Yeah very nice. Oh, well, I found the uh, swim spot and what a lovely place it is. It's not quite here, but over this side. You see there's a kind of like a rectangular swimming spot. I don't think I'm quite brave enough to get in there because there's people sat right to the right of me. But it is tempting. What an awesome place! I'm going to see how far I can make it down the river by using the boulders. Now that looks like a spot for a swim, doesn't it? Potential, definitely potential there. Well, I have found the perfect place for my first attempt at wild swimming. I can't believe I'm actually going to do this, but I'm going in. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Right, I'm not going to dip her over this, I'm just going straight in. That is pretty cold, but once you're in, not too bad. Oh, oh what a lovely spot. Uh. Gee, oh, I can't believe I've done it. Oh. That is, uh, that's quite refreshing. Whew. What a nice spot, isn't it? Well, that's another challenge ticked off my list anyway. Wild swimming. Definitely recommended. Oh, I, I feel so... I'm buzzing after doing that. I, I didn't actually think I would do it, but I just feel so good. Yeah, well chuffed with that. Well, we've just made 
made it to Squaw Hill Circle. I wonder what's gone on here in the past. We got a Dartmoor pony checking out the scenery. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? Now I wonder what the story is behind this then. You can imagine druids and uh, all, sort, all sorts going on here, can't you? Well, at least I'm on the right track. I was getting a little bit worried then that I'd missed my turning. Okay, I feel a bit relieved now because <laughs> I thought I'd lost where I was going but I picked up on the route again and it says cross the clam bridge which I presume this is a clam bridge and then follow the track up to the right which it looks like there is a track up to the right so we are all good I tell you what, there's nothing like a steep climb right at the end of your walk. So I have come down through the forest. Basically there's a track down through, kind of like down there, down the centre. And brings you across to the bridge. And then up this hill. And we're just following the public footpath. So I don't think there's too much more to go now. I think we've just got to turn left up here and then follow the path back to the car. So that's it for episode 17, 52 weeks of awesome. I love that. First time wild swimming, brilliant. I would highly recommend this walk, it's not too strenuous. I think it's going to turn out to be about five, six miles. So you can do it in a couple of hours. Yeah, highly recommended. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next video.